Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture of Quality and Reliability Engineering. I am Milan Trivedi, Assistant Professor at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. So since last lecture we have started with chapter number 3 that is Introduction to Design of Experiment which is a useful concept of quality as well as we are conducting any of the experiment right. So the concept says that plan your experiment well in advance, decide your input factors properly so that you can get the better output. That is the main concept of design of experiment. In this particular introduction section, we were discussing about the different methods to carry out the experiment in which we had already discussed about the first two methods that is trial and error and the single factor experiment method. Now we are going to talk about the full factorial and the fractional factorial method. But before that let me summarize the earlier class. The trial and error method is not recommended because it lacks the direction. In a single factor experiment, we are checking the influence of only one factor on the output, right? So that is a single factor experiment. But still the problem with the single factor experiment is that you will get to know about effect of only one input variable on the output. What is the effect of another variables we will not be able to know in the case of single factor experiment. In such scenario, the rest two methods that is full factorial and the fractional factorial method proves to be advantageous. So let's get understand the concept of last two methods. In the full factorial method we will perform all the experiment that is the main concept and in the case of fractional factorial experiment we will perform less experiment still we will get the desired result. Let us understand that concept. So if you are having the five different factors right let us again recall the example of sandwich right. So the taste of sandwich depends on number of different different things. So let's say you are having a five different factors which influence the taste of sandwich. Let us say it is salt, sugar, oven temperature, it may be the stuffings you are using as well as the sauce you are using. Okay. So we are having a five different factors which is changing and each factors can be set at a level two. Two levels means either you say for example salt you are using then you are having a two levels means one tablespoon of salt and second scenario is two tablespoon of salt. Sugar you are using again in that case also let's say half tablespoon salt one full spoon of salt sugar okay. So that kind of levels that is nothing but in which um, uh, particular levels you want to add again if you are using tomato as a stuffing then one slice of tomato or it can be a two slice of tomato. Okay, so that is nothing but it is the levels. So whenever you are having us this five factors and two levels, then how many experiment you need to carry out in order to check the result of the entire input variables. So in order to check the proper output, you need to at least carry out two raised to five experiment. That is total 32 runs you need to carry out in order to check the result of the input variable right. This is all about the probability if you carry out 32 experiment the best condition you can evaluate right. At all the 32 experiment you need to check what is the taste how the taste does it is having right. So minimum experiment run is 32. If you carry out all the 32 experiment that method is called as a full factorial method. Remember in the case of single factorial we are changing the level of only one element. Let's say you are changing only sugar, rest all salt, stuffing uh, and all that thing you are keeping constant that it is called as a single factorial. But whenever you are changing all the things minimum 32 experiment you need to carry out and that is called as a full factorial method. And if you want to carry out the same experiment but in a less run then it is called as a fractional factorial means you want to evaluate the taste but still in the less experiment you need to carry out then it is called as a fractional factorial method. The one question will arise in your mind is that how to evaluate this 16 experiment that which quantities which level we need to change right and still we will get the same result as in the case of full factorial still we will evaluate that this quantity is good to have a better taste. Yes, that is possible with the help of certain statistics, right? We will understand that one kind of statistics in our next class. 
but yes that is possible with the help of fractional factorial and some of them some of the time we are doing this fractional factorial just to reduce the burden of work as well as some of the time there is some chances of error due to the uh, evolution of taste means uh, suppose uh, if you are carrying out 32 experiment right but what will happen uh, let's say on 30th experiment the particular person who is performing the experiment will get expertise in doing that task so due to his expertise also some of the time the taste may improve right so that thing may happen right so some of the time you need to do the, some random experiment okay so for such reason we are reducing the number of taste run as well as we will try to do the experiment in a very random way but due to use of some certain statistics we can get the good result right so in most of the engineering point of view experiment we are having a fractional factorial method we will understand the statistics behind that method also in next class so you will understand that instead of doing only 32 experiment we are doing 16 experiment then also you will get the good result okay so whenever you are doing the this fractional factorial it is said that you are carrying out half the number of runs hence you call it 2 raised to 5 fractional factorial run of order 1 by 2 okay let's say we are having this scenario that what combination of factors avoid the tire failure that you need to evolve right tire gods fail but this failure of tire depends on this number of different parameters such as speed of the car the temperature at the tire side the pressure of the tire and the Jesus design these are the particular factors which influence the failure of the tire right again we can have this kind of different different variations so according to the different variations we need to carry out almost 16 experiment so this 16 experiment if it is carried out it is called as a full factorial method but instead of 16 experiment let's say within 8, eight experiment also you evaluate the scenario then it is called as a fractional factorial design okay so i hope you got the concept of full factorial as well as the fractional factorial design now let us understand the taguchi approach now what does the taguchi says that any of the experiment de depends on three things that is you need to design a system that is called as a system design then design the parameter that is called as a parameter design and then tighten the tolerance that is called as a tolerance design let's understand all that three things in detail so system design is nothing but determine the suitable working level of the design factors right means which are the proper input variables let us right now we have taken the example of uh, tire failure right so we have determined that which are the working levels what we need to ev evaluate we evaluate the speed temperature pressure of the tire right so that or nothing but these are the different working levels that you design first that is called as a system design we are designed that what we want to have, have a look on right then you go for a parametric design this is important prepare a orthogonal array right the table we had formed that is also called as an orthogonal array but for this orthogonal array as i told earlier also we need to go for a fractional factorial design we need to have a less number of experiment so that we does not waste time and energy right so prepare that orthogonal array this taguchi had made the statistics even for that so first of all prepare that which experiment you need to perform then perform that experiment then analyze the data identify the optimum condition optimum condition that is the best condition in which you want you get your desired result then then you go for the confirmation runs means carry out that particular experiment see this uh, after this uh, running the experiment nowadays that is happening in a certain softwares you are having a mini tab in which according to this taguchi method automatically the orthogonal arrays are prepared and they will give you the result there is one statistics i will explain that in next lecture so you will get in which particular experiment you will get your desired output that will be come in software automatically right so we need to confirm that thing 
so physically do that experiment that is called as a conformation run right once you have done that you need to have a tolerance design means whatever the input variable set that as per the particular experiment result right so that is called as a tolerance design determine the result of parametric design by tightening the tolerance of the significant factor this you will understand when i still explain the robust design in next lecture so you will understand how to prepare this orthogonal array why this uh, conformation of run is been carried out you will get to understand all that thing in detail but that i will dis uh, discuss in next class finally thanks for watching